Hello everyone and welcome to Forum. I'm here with Dr. Marshall Washington and he's the president of New River Community and Technical College. Brand new to the area, you just started in March. Why don't you tell us about where you came from? Well, I came from uh, most recently Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where I worked for Harrisburg Area Community College. And I was um, there for about three years and prior to that I was at Kellogg Community College in Battle Creek, Michigan for 15 years. Uh, and I'm a native of Columbus, Ohio, where I was born and raised. So a neighboring state to West Virginia. <laughs> That's correct. That's and correct. how do you like the area so far? Oh, my family and I, we love it. It's been great to get back in the area. Um, my mother is actually from um, Kanawha County, and so it's actually been wonderful to get back and be able to connect with some other family members that are around in the area. All right. Now, just talk to us about New River Community and Technical College. What is the student enrollment for this coming semester, the fall semester? Well, New River Community and Technical College is a comprehensive community college, um, meaning that we offer um, arts and science education as well as technical education and also um, workplace readiness education, meaning we're trying to get people back into the workplace. And our current student enrollment is roughly right around 2,100 students. Um, we have um, campuses that are located in um, Lewisburg, which is our Greenboro Valley campus. We have one that's located in Summersville, which is our Nicholas County campus, also in Beckley, um, which is our currently Raleigh County campus, our Advanced Technology Center, and finally our Mercer County campus. Um, so those are the five campus locations that we have in our um, nine county area that we serve. All right, now is the enrollment up from last semester? Um, our enrollment is up from last um, semester, is actually up around maybe 2%. So we're very pleased about that, that we are being able to, again, help um, individual students get back into the world of work and also those students that want to advance so that they can go on to the four-year institution. Now being a new president and having your numbers up, how does that make you feel? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> um, walking into a situation where um, we've been hit with some, some, um, some challenges and one of those challenges are, are the 7.5% um, cut that we had to endure from the state from last year. Um, but and we had to increase tuition slightly. So being able to continue to have enrollment and, and, and that en enrollment jumps by 2%, it makes us know that we're still needed and we are also are being relevant to the needs of the community. Now, tell us about some new opportunities that are at New River that are impacting students. Well, one of those new opportunities are some of our new programs that we have. Um, we are actually focusing on some of our allied health programs. Um, currently, we have an LPN program that's located um, at our Nicholas County campus and also a Raleigh County campus and the Greenboro Valley campus, but we're going to be expanding that program to a registered nursing program, our RN program. So we're very pleased about um, being able to provide that opportunity as well as also our PTA program, a physical therapist assistant and our occupational therapist assistant OTA program. Those three programs are um, really great for our healthcare needs in the area, working with um, the area hospitals and also clinics and also um, the different, um, like the Veterans Administration. Um, we're finding that our population is aging and more baby boomers are gonna be needing healthcare. And so us being able to provide um, new allied health professionals in the area um, will be a great um, expansion of um, the services that we could help benefit our communities. Now, what are some of the other programs that New River offers? Um, one of the other programs that we offer, we offer welding. Um, we also offer um, cosmetology, um, nail technician programs. Um, we also offer um, if students want to go into arts, um, they can pursue an art program. Um, we also have traditional, if students want to just maybe take a few classes with us and then go on to the four-year institution, they can do such things as um, majoring in journalism, they can major in um, English, they can major in history or psychology, and be able to take those classes and um, transfer on to, say, a Marshall University, Concord, um, or Bluefield State. Um, so that they can stay right here in the area once they complete their education. So we have a, a vast um, you know, variety of different programming that we provide to students. 
All right, now what significant partnerships exist in New Rivers communities to assist in promoting its education? Some of our partnerships that exist um, are with some of our local school systems. Um, we're very pleased to be partnering with the Raleigh County School System. Um, we're trying to, again, um, make sure that we um, provide a pipeline for students coming out of our K-12 system into the college um, community. We want to make sure that that's available. And then we also have those partnerships on the other end with um, other schools that are four-year institutions such as Concord and um, Bluefield State and the University of Beckley Charleston. Um, those particular partnerships provide um, a means for students that take classes with us to be able to make sure those credits count and be able to um, make sure they count with us and then also to at the four-year institution. We also have other partnerships with um, area hospitals um, where students do clinical rotations and they're able to um, make sure that they are able to have those experiences that assist them with um, getting practical experiences um, related to the book work that they're doing in their classes. So those are some of the other partnerships. We have a, a great partnership with um, um, Appalachian um, Electrical Power, um, that they work with our line maintenance um, mechanic program and, and, the, and so that we have the best trained um, and highly trained individuals that are going up and during storm times making sure that um, electrical wires are put back together and um, they're connected so that we're training some of those individuals and we're pleased about some of those business partnerships that we have. Um, along with those types of partnerships, we also um, continue to um, have um, other small partnerships with nonprofit or organizations. Um, we work with the United Way um, and making sure that we're able to assist them and they assist us back with being able to provide um, individuals that may be going through hardships um, who are coming to the school and, and doing um, good things in their work but finding that they can't kind of make it on their own. So we do referral services out to United Way and they help get our students connected to the community resources. So uh, um, many types of partnerships that we have. And so we're looking to engage the community if there are other partnerships they'd like for us to explore to give us a, a call and see what we can do in order to make some of those partnerships work. Now, I don't know if New River offers this, but do they have a dual enrollment for seniors in the Raleigh County School System? Is that something you're looking into doing? That is something we're looking into doing. Um, we are, um, we're actually meeting with uh, Mr. Brown and his staff um, to, to shore up that particular opportunity for our students in the area. Now, why is that something that you would think would be important for the seniors of Raleigh County? I think it's important because students will get an opportunity to take a college course um, in their senior year and they'll know the rigorous um, opportunities that are there but also they can get connected with some of our faculty early on in their career um, while they're still a, a student in high school. They also have the opportunity to earn that credit so that um, that credit is also earned at a lesser expense than it would be if they were to take it um, you know, another year while they're in college. So um, those are some of the opportunities that exist for students and, and they can get some of the coursework out of the way so that they can have a better jump on their future career. Now you're talking about your line service technician classes and I actually had the chance to go see the showcase that they do at the end of the semester. Okay. Why don't you just talk to us about just about that showcase and how it benefits the, the students because they usually walk out of there with jobs. That's correct. We have area employers that come in and visit. We call it the rodeo. And um, so they're able to um, actually watch our students, evaluate our students. Um, so our students really kind of have a um, an interview where they're putting their skills to the test and individuals are there to watch them go up the pole and be able to connect the lines and be able to know what they're doing and then turn in the necessary reports that require um, the service. Um, and I think it's fascinating that students are able to have that opportunity and we have the connection to area employers that come out and do that type of work. And it also, too, for some students that it may not be the opportunity where they land a job, they also get to have that experience um, so that when they have to do it again, they can get better at it and put their, um, 
what they've learned in the classroom, what they've learned um, also with in the clinical kind of setting, in the laboratory experience, put that to work so that it works out for them in the long term. Now back to the nursing students, where can they do their clinical work? Is it just at Raleigh General Hospital or is it all over Southern West Virginia? It's actually over, uh, all over Southern West Virginia that we have some clinical sites. Um, we have clinical sites that are located in Nicholas County. We have um, um, sites that are located in um, Greenbrier um, County. We also have some sites that are located, um, and I believe we also have some that's over in Pocahontas County as well. So we, we, we serve a nine county area, so we have um, you know clinical sites that are available to students actually where they live so that even though they may come to classes outside of their own county area, they can go back to their own county if they choose to do that, if we have clinical agreements with those sites. Now, how important is the clinical aspect of their education? I think there would be some individuals, practitioners, that will say that it's probably one of the most important um, because we ourselves, if we, if we go into the hospital, we want to make sure that when someone is sticking us with a needle that they've had that experience mm -hmm. prior to um, sticking us with that needle um, and they just haven't read it from the book um, but they've had um, some practice in that. Um, so I think it's very important that students um, have that experience. Um, we actually give awards at the end of um, their program. Um, when they graduate, students have their pinning ceremony, and we recognize students not only that have done well um, with getting the top GPA in their, class, in their classes, but also we recognize students that have done well in the clinical setting. Um, and um, we have individuals that we employ who are, um, who are expert professionals who work with those students that guide them that give them um, good feedback as good kind of mentors while they're um, in that clinical setting. And they're the ones that provide the opportunity for recognizing those students at graduation who have done exceptionally well in the clinical setting. Now you have an inauguration coming up. Why don't you tell us about some of those events? Because I know it's a big day for you. <laughs> right. Um, I'm very excited about the opportunity that our Board of Governors will be celebrating me and also New River Community and Technical College. Um, this year we celebrate 10 years. And in conjunction with our anniversary, um, we're having an inauguration. Um, I am the third president for New River Community and Technical College, and we will be having um, a series of events through the month of September. Um, um, the inauguration actually takes place on um, September the 21st. Um, it will be um, here in Raleigh County at the, um, at the convention center. Um, we have a 1 p.m. program um, that we're inviting the entire community to come out um, and be a part of that event if they choose to do that. Um, in addition to that, we have anniversary parties that we call that are going on across each one of our campuses. Um, and they're kind of birthday party celebrations where we're going to be celebrating either in our student um, kind of commons area or out on the lawn where we'll have in some areas, um, we'll have birthday cake at each one of those particular events. We're again celebrating 10 years of New River and sometimes we may have um, balloons and um, different events to invite so that people can bring their families out for um, those types of activities that will be fun and festive um, occasions. So we ask individuals to check um, our website, newriver.edu, um, for um, particular um, um, the specifics about those particular activities. All right, well, thank you so much. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back. <laughs> 